Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my layout. Yeah, I'm going to jump right to the chase here. Uh, I kind of need a little bit of help here. And you guys have been really helpful so far, kind of giving me some advice on uh, wiring and things like that. Uh, starting this off, because again, um, I'm not an expert with wiring. I'm not an expert with the DCC programs yet. I'm still learning as I go here. I've got the basic installation down, but doing such a large scale layout, you know, like this. I mean, this is 100 feet of track and there's a lot of track. It's a lot of work. Um, none of this is wired up yet. Only these joining sections over here and all this are wired up and obviously all this is finished now too. But basically what I'm hung up on right now is with my DCS210 uh, Digitrack system. So I basically have it set up like anybody else. Uh, this is my system down here. Let's ignore this for a second. This is a booster. Let's set this aside. This is the main DCS210 power supply for my layout. And the issue that I'm having right now is about maybe six months ago, I started wiring up a new section over here. So when I started this section, all this was wired up and finished, and I was able to run trains on analog DC uh, for testing purposes. And it was running fine, and I didn't have any problems there uh, until really the problem began when I started wiring this section over here. Once I started laying feeders in, uh, one day I came out here and I plugged my Digitrax 210 in and I got four beeps on my power pack and then my track status light uh, blinked uh, off and on basically I think every three or four seconds and I'll demonstrate it here in a second and since then I haven't been able to figure out what exactly that is. Uh, I was looking through the manual which is provided. I was doing a little bit of digging online. I asked a couple friends and I still couldn't really narrow it down. Uh, at first I was thinking maybe it was a short and it had something to do with something I wired up here, but I really didn't do any complex wiring or spliced anything and I've been very careful so far. That being said, I could have still made a mistake. Uh, so it was either a short or there's something else going on. And real quick, I'll go ahead and plug this pack in and uh, you'll be able to hear what this sounds like. So let me go ahead and just kind of I'm actually going to do, it's kind of hard, I'm going to set my camera down because my power pack is actually on the other side of this uh, bench work. You hear one solid beep and if we go over here, basically the problem that starts to occur, here's our lighting, take a look, I got power flashing, all right. Now let's go ahead and try to plug in our throttle and actually get track power going. So standard uh, 500. And if we plug it in, we'll try to get track power here. Here you can see she's turning on. Let's go ahead and put it on. There's the beep. Now, if you look at this, here's the problem. Power's flashing green. Track status flashes, uh, what do you want to say, every three seconds, something like that. And that's what I've been hung up on. Uh, I can't figure out if this is something. And I was looking through the manual again because I've been reading this manual constantly. And maybe I'm just really stupid here. You know, I know you, a lot of you guys that might be watching this are probably more, more uh, experts on this kind of system than I am. Uh, but I'm assuming that either is a short or there might be something related with the power pack. Maybe I blew a fuse or something. I know the manual said that if the power button blinks from green, uh, it might be a fuse. And if it's a fuse, that would explain why nothing else is working here. Um, but it also still could be a, a short of some kind. So I'm just kind of reaching out here and I'm asking for help, uh, some advice. If you guys want to leave some comments, uh, even if you want to say I'm a complete dumbass and I just fuck something up, that's fine. I just kind of need to know that way I can proceed here. Cause right now my whole model railroad's on hold and I don't want to do anything else that could, you know, potentially damage this, mess it up. I just want to check to make sure I'm going the right course here. The other thing I originally thought, and the reason why I have this booster is because I was thinking that this might be some kind of uh, automatic shutdown thing where maybe this is trying to power too much track at the same time and I need an extra power supply like a booster to hook up to so that could be the other issue there uh, but I've been uh, very thorough going through all these wires trying to find any possible shorts or anything like that and again keep in mind all of this was working fine until I got over here and once I started wiring up this section it worked for a while and then once I got to this section of track here 
Uh, that's when the power pack officially went out and I ended up removing these feeders, all of them, and tried to plug the power pack back in, still the same problem. I rewired this area, same problem. So I'm just wondering if it's maybe that it's just trying to power too much of an area up at the same time, maybe up to here and it just can't handle this, which in that case I'll get the booster hooked up, I'll have to figure that out. So it's either that, it's a short, or the power pack might have blown a fuse. So again, I might be completely wrong here. These are just educated guesses I've taken by asking some friends and looking through this manual, looking online, watching tons of YouTube videos. And again, I am not an expert on these. Uh, this is the first time I've used the system, so I just want to make sure I don't screw something up. Anyways, guys, if you can provide any help here, it would be definitely appreciated. If I can get a good answer and it works out, I'll make a response video and show you guys how it turned out. And I'll probably delete this one. So hopefully uh, we can work this out. Uh, but again, thank you for any kind of information you can provide me here. I'll be looking forward to reading the comments. I'll see you guys. Take care.